Hi everyone, great to be virtually be here with you today. My name is Tal and I'm a director of product management at MyHeritage. I'm responsible for the MyHeritage core genealogy product that includes the family tree, matching technologies, our historical record search engine that includes more than 13 billion records. I'm also responsible for the world of photos at MyHeritage that developed significantly over the last year or so with new and exciting features for enhancing old photos and colorizing them. Today, I'm here to tell you about our new and exciting deep nostalgia feature. Before I talk about that, let's start with a short recap of our photo colorization and enhancement features since they will be relevant for the rest of my talk. So my heritage launched in the last year or so, three photo features, colorization of black and white photos that you've probably heard of, photo enhancer, which enhances the resolution of blurry photos, and a new feature called color restoration that was recently launched. We continue to see the great interest of our users in these capabilities that allow people to see their family history in a whole new light. Since we launched My Heritage in Color and the Photo Enhancer, we have seen users use it more than 31 million times, which is quite a significant number. It always fills me with great joy to see how users are enjoying these features and become somewhat addicted to them. Okay, so let me tell you a bit about them before we move on to talk about deep nostalgia. So my heritage in color was launched in February, 2020 to allow users to automatically colorize their black and white photos and see their old family photos in color. Photos are colorized using deep learning technology, which was licensed by my, Her by my heritage from the Aldify. In January 2021, we also launched a new version of this feature that includes the ability to restore colors in faded photos. You can see this example of uh, a bar in uh, Texas. You can see the great level of detail in the colorization, colorization that was made to this photo but by looking at the labels of the bottles and the clothing of, of the people. So of course, on the right hand side, you see uh, the, sorry, on the left hand side, you see the original black and white photo. And on the right hand side, you have uh, the new uh, version, the new colorized version of the photo. Here you see another example of a family eating dinner, dinner together. And you can see the kids uh, eating their food. Um, you can see the, the colors of, of their clothing and even the food, the glasses. Uh, and even the chairs, everything is very genuine and very close to the, to the source. Here you can see the other feature I, I talked about, a new addition to my heritage in color called color restoration. This photo that you see on the screen was taken in 1976. My heritage founder, Gilad Jaffet, is the boy with the hat, and next to him is his father and sister during a day trip. As you can see in the photos here, color restoration restores and revives the authentic colors in faded color photos. This feature is ideal for colored photos from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and even 90s that were originally taken in color, but the color on these photos have faded over the years. These colored photos were stored in albums and did not with withstand the test of time, which caused their colors to fade. Um, another thing is UV light can affect the, the chemical makeup of, of uh, printed photos, which causing them to turn sicky yellow and lose their colors. So you can see that the left-hand side is, is uh, uh, the original. And, the, and of course, on the right-hand side, you can see um, the, the restored photo. The feature actually accurately restores the photo's genuine colors and sharpens the image in this process, which means we eventually get a photo with the authentic colors of the original photo. Okay, it, it also sharpens the photos and improves the photo, photo's level of detail. This photo was taken in 1975 when my heritage founder, who is on the left here, was visiting his grandparents. Photos are restored using a machine learning, te learning technology, which was licensed by MyHeritage from the Aldify. The color restoration is, is an enhancement of MyHeritage in color, which was first int introduced a year ago as our flagship feature for colorizing black and white photos. 
The MyHeritage Photo Enhancer enhances photos and brings blurry faces into sharp focus. It's perfect for old and blurry photos, but it works equally well on black and white and colored photos. The MyHeritage Photo Enhancer is using deep learning algorithms to upscale the resolution of photos by four times, meaning the number of pixels in the enhanced photo is four times more than in the original, making the detail in this photo uh, uh, much, much more noticeable. This is done in order to sharpen faces and objects appearing uh, in the photos. You can enhance colorized photos and colorize enhanced photos. Let's look at a few examples. So in this photo, you can see a group of people standing outside, outside of a wine shop in Paris in 1915. You can see a lot of people in this photo. And as you can see, the photo was taken from a distance and it's hard to really see the expressions on the people's faces when you're unable to zoom and keep a good resolution of the photo. As you can see on the right-hand side, the photo enhancer, really sharpens the faces and allows to see every little detail in them in high quality. So if that's the original face, that's the enhanced face. And that's too. So you can notice uh, details in, in, in much better quality, like uh, uh, the nose or the, or the mask, mustache or even the hats. And it's really nice. Let's look at another example. Here is an example photo of my grandmother, Hannah. Uh, she's the, the girl here on the left. She's here with the, her mother and her brother. This photo was taken just before the war in Warsaw, uh, Poland. And is the only photo I have uh, of my grandmother as a child, unfortunately. It's also the only photo we have of her, her mother and brother and, and the rest of her family because most of her family were murdered in the, in the Holocaust. The first time I had a chance to see how she really looked like as a kid was when we worked on the photo enhancer feature and I had the opportunity to try it on my own family photos. I must say I was amazed by it and so did uh, was my father. You can see here, uh, this is my grandmother after we enhanced her photo and also colorized it, and that's her mother. Photos were, were taken in very low quality back then, and the option to bridge this gap using technology allows us to reconnect with long lost family. Seeing these photos in high resolution and in color allowed me to really imagine how the life of my family looked like in Poland in the 30s uh, before the war started. So for me, it was a it was a real real opportunity uh, to learn how my family really looked like at at the days. Now let's talk about deep nostalgia. Deep nostalgia lets you animate the faces in your family photos. You will get to watch your ancestors move and, in a way, experience your family history like never before. The remarkable technology for animating photos was licensed by my heritage from DID, an Israeli startup specializing in video reenactment using deep learning. My heritage integrated this technology to animate the faces in historical photos and create high quality, realistic video footage. And you can see this great example here. Let me play it again. You can see how realistic her movements looks like. However, this is a still photo that was uh, reenacted using this technology. The deep nostalgia feature requires a high resolution faces input to apply the animation. But faces in historical photos tend to be small and blurry. That's why we combine this feature with the MyHeritage Photo Enhancer, which as I said earlier, brings blurry and low resolution photos into focus by increasing the resolution and sharpening the faces that appear in them. This combination ensures optimal results and produces high quality video anim animation for faces in historical photos. As you can see, 
you can animate all the phases in a photo, but in the current version, they cannot all be animated at the same time. So you can see that we split the, the faces in this photo into three different portrait photos, and we can animate each one of them separately. This is how the boy moves. So you see here three different examples for moving three different uh, faces in this photo. So how are photos being uh, animated? The Deep Nostalgia feature uses several drivers prepared by MyHeritage. A driver is a video consisting of a fixed sequence of movements and gestures. Deep Nostalgia can very accurately apply one of the drivers to a face in your still photo, creating a short video that you can share with your friends and family. The driver guides the movements in the animation so you can see your ancestors smile, blink, and their heads turn into different sides. This really brings your photos to life. So on the left-hand side, you, you can see our model. His name is Sagi. And the right-hand side is a still photo that we reenacted using uh, Sagi as a, as a driver for this, uh, for this animation. Deep Nostalgia works equally well on black and white photos and photos that were originally taken in color. It also works well on colorized photos and photos whose colors were restored using MyHeritage in color. In fact, combining these features can lead to great results. MyHeritage now makes it possible for you to take blurry black and white photo, colorize it, enhance its focus, and finally animate any of the faces in it. And, and what you, you see on the screen is a, is a great example for that. In the center, you see the original photo. And after we colorized the photo, enhanced it, and animated the photo, you see the faces move in color. See how real that looks like. Okay, let's talk a bit about the animation sequence of gestures. So there are several possible sequence of gestures that can be applied to a photo, each originating from a driver video created by MyHeritage in advance. Our system will automatically decide which sequence to apply to a specific face based on its orientation. So if you look at these examples, you can see that each video is moving a bit different because each photo here or each version of uh, each copy of this photo was animated using a different driver video. If you want to control which sequence of gestures is selected, rather than stick to, with the default sequence, you can choose any of the available sequences and apply it. In these examples, you can see different drivers or animation sequences applied to the same photo and each produce a bit of a different result. Let me play it again for you. You can see that all, all of the results are a bit different, uh, but eventually all of them look uh, pretty real. Some people love the deep nostalgia feature and consider it magical, while others find it creepy and dislike it. Indeed, indeed, the results can be controversial and it's hard to stay indifferent to this technology. We invite you to create videos using this feature and share them on social media to see what your friends and family think. This feature is intended for nostalgic use, that is to bring beloved ancestors back to life. Our drivers don't include speech in order to prevent abuse of this feature such as the creation of deep fake videos of living people. So please use this feature on your own historical photos and not on photos featuring living people without their permission. You can see this, this example, it's, it's, a, it's a good example for that. While it looks really, really nice, uh, I'm sure that some people will, will say that this example is a bit more creepy than the ones we previously saw. Okay, 
Now I want to give you a live demo of how this feature works uh, inside the MyHeritage uh, platform. Uh, so you'll be able to know how to find this feature and how to use it uh, on your own uh, account. And what you can see here, uh, this screen is uh, the photo section on MyHeritage. To find it, after you log into MyHeritage, you go to the navigation bar and under the family tree tab, there is a My Photos section. After you click it, you'll get to this page showing you all of your photos in case you have any. In case you don't have, you can always upload new photos from here. Okay, so let's uh, pick a photo. We can pick this one, this nice family, Hewitt family from 1950. And, and for those that are not familiar with this screen, uh, on this screen, you can tag the photo. You can, of course, uh, add comments or keywords or notes. Um, and, and of course, download it and use all of our latest uh, photo features like enhancing, colorizing, and animating uh, the photo. So the new feature that we're talking about now is called Deep Nostalgia, and it's under this Animate button. So you click the Animate button. And as I told you previously, we will be first animate, uh, enhancing sorry, your, your photo uh, to improve uh, the resolution of the photo and, and to create larger faces in, in larger res resolution that will allow us eventually uh, to animate them in good quality. So after we enhance the photo, you get to this screen, which asks you to select the face to, to animate. So you can select any face that, that we detected in the photo and uh, you can animate it by clicking a button. So if we'll choose this lady right here, clicking on her face will trigger the animation process. As written here, it can take up to 20 seconds, but usually it, it takes much less. And eventually after the, the animation is loaded, you'll be able to see it in just a second. So usually the animations are, are videos of around 10 to 15 seconds. They're not so long. This is a nice one, it looks very real. We can of course play it again. And any animation, if you liked it, you can download it, you can share it, you can share it on Facebook, Twitter, or just copy a link and send it to your friends via your favorite uh, messaging app or email or whatever. And you have this uh, drop down selector that allows you to pick a different driver video. As you probably remember, uh, I spoke a bit about driver videos uh, previously. And driver videos are, are eventually different animation sequences of, of gestures uh, done by a, a model that uh, we, we um, uh, filmed. So in this case, uh, the, the process chose automatically animation number nine as the, the best fit for this photo, for, this, for the face of this lady. But uh, you can select automatically, try a different animation. Many people tend to like specific uh, driver videos and use them on all their photos. So you can find your, your favorite one and, and, and use it for your favorite, uh, for animating your favorite uh, photos. So let's see here how animation number five looks like. As you can see a bit of a different uh, head gestures, thinking, looking down a bit and smiling at the end. So of course you can try animating any of the photos here. And for any, every photo that was already animated, every face, you'll see a small uh, play icon appearing next to it. So you'll know which, uh, for which faces you already uh, created an animation video and you can always click it, click it to go back and view it again. So this time I animated this uh, lady right here. We'll be able to see her video in just a second.
That sure looks like a real video that was taken, captured at the time that this photo was taken. I think it's beautiful. Let's see another example. So I told you earlier a lot about uh, our other photo features, such as the, the color uh, colorization under my heritage in color. And what I want to show you right now is that if you already have photos on my heritage and you already colorize your photos and enhance them, you can of course animate those versions as well. So let, let's assume that this photo was colorized already, or let's colorize it for a second. So here you can see the result of the colorized photo, beautiful, beautifully colorized photo. You can click the animate button. And now, again, we will enhance the photo. We'll find uh, the faces in the photo and will allow you to select which of them you would like to animate. So if we'll pick this lady right here, we see her face being animated and you can already see that her face is going to be animated on the colorized photo, which will give us eventually a colorized animation video which will be very, very nice. Let's let it load for a second. You see when, that when the photo is colorized, the results are really nice. Let's see another one with a different driver. Personally, I usually go and colorize the photo first if it's a black and white photo, and only then I trigger the, the animate button. Makes a, a much more uh, real uh, feeling to, to the video, to the animation. Okay, so that's pretty much it. You can, of course, uh, go back here to the main uh, photo page and Click the animate button again to see uh, the animation again. You can of course look at each individual portrait and click play animation to play the animation you created for that person. It's really nice, really addictive, and you'll find yourself doing it for many, many photos. So try it out. Um, let's go back to our presentation. So you probably saw in the videos that I just showed there is a small icon or a couple of small icons at the bottom left corner. And I want to explain a bit about them. So we differentiate animated photos from the originals using a special embossed motion icon in the bottom left corner of the photos. Together with the magic wound icon indicating that the photo was enhanced. You can see it right here. So we create the video and we emboss the motion and the magic wound icon at the bottom left corner. Both icons appear on all animated photos so that users can tell them apart from the original. If the animation was created on a colorized photo like can be seen here, the, the palette icon will appear next to the magic wound and motion icons on the bottom left corner. We add these icons because we believe it is our ethical responsibility to make sure that people see the difference between simulated videos created using deep learning and original photos or videos. So it's very important for us and, and, and we always do it for every uh, photo that was manipulated, every video that was created um, uh, from original photos, every, every uh, a new media item that we create using a, a machine, using a, a artificial intelligence, uh, we mark it uh, with those watermarks to make sure that people uh, will, will have an understanding that these are not real. Um, and we hope that the other companies that, that will do similar things in the future uh, will take these practices and, and will adapt them. 
So that's about the photo animation uh, icons at the bottom left corner. I'm sure you all have been asking yourself what, what these are. Okay, if you don't have a MyHeritage account yet, you can easily create one for free from the Deep Nostalgia page. Just go to www.myheritage.com slash Deep Nostalgia. Users who have a complete subscription, MyHeritage complete subscription, uh, can animate an unlimited number of photos. Other users can animate several photos for free, regardless of the number of faces in the photo. So you can animate for free as many photos as you want in, in, in a single uh, photo. Beyond that, they will need a subscription to animate more uh, distinct photos. Non-subscribers will notice a watermark of the MyHeritage logo on the bottom right of the video animation, while complete subscribers will be able to produce animated photos that are logo free. So go ahead and try it out on our website, www.myheritage.com slash deep nostalgia. That's it guys, thank you very much. Uh, I enjoyed uh, this session uh, a lot. I really enjoyed this feature and I hope you will too. Uh, I encourage you guys to go out and try it um, and let us know what you think about it. You can email me personally at uh, tal.erlichman at myheritage.com. I would love to hear uh, your thoughts about this feature. And of course, feel free to, to share it on social media, Facebook, Twitter. We always love seeing your, your great uh, photos and videos that you create uh, using these features. So enjoy and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.